Six, five, three, two, one, zero, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. So if you are new to my channel, I'm Jagtar Singh and I talk about anything which is interesting about the aerospace industry. And in today's video, we are going to talk about what are the market leaders when it comes to aircraft manufacturing industry. And also, what exactly went wrong with Boeing that it has started its downfall. So firstly, let's talk about the overall airline manufacturing industry. So in 2023, the estimated value of the industry was more than $400 billion. But this industry is estimated to grow to a half a trillion dollars by 2029. So companies in this market are involved in two major segments. First is manufacturing industry and the second one are the companies which are supplying some of the components to these companies. So when it comes to large passenger planes, so two companies dominate the whole market. Those are Airbus and Boeing. These two companies have the exclusive control over the providing the large passenger vehicles to all the airlines, especially their established brand as Boeing's 7 Series and Airbus A Series jets. On a global scale, Airbus and Boeing compete with each other on neck to neck basis, but there are other companies which are starting to grow that includes Comac in China, Mitsubishi in Japan, the one is Bombardier in Canada, other one is Embraer in Brazil and many more. But these holds very minute share in the global market. And when it comes to military planes, Boeing and Airbus also compete with Lockheed Martin, specifically in US. So companies like Radiant Technologies, General Electric, Pratt & Whitney, uh, then it comes Rolls-Royce, Honeywell, these are the companies which are supplying propeller engines to these aircraft manufacturers. Now let's talk about all these manufacturers in brief detail. Let's start with Boeing. Boeing company, which is headquartered in Chicago, Illinois, which was founded in 1916, has a market capitalization of huge $130 billion. Some of its products include 737, 747, 767, 777, 787. These are all the aircrafts which belongs to Boeing family. Boeing has a strong order backlog of 5,700 aircrafts, which is valued around $470 billion. Recently, Boeing has faced many challenges specifically to the safety of its aircrafts. Specifically, incidents involving 737 MAX in-flight controls and detaching of the airplane door mid-flight has raised many concerns. So these issues have not only affected Boeing's financial reputation, but also consumer confidence is gone. The goodwill of the companies is at stake. Even due to these challenges, many of the airlines have cancelled their contracts which they have given to Boeing for aircraft manufacturing. So let's talk about the next manufacturer that is Airbus. With its headquarters in Netherlands and it was founded in 1970, this manufacturer has a market capitalization of $128.5 billion. It is also known for its manufacturing of large commercial jetliners. And some of its notable product line includes A220, A320, A330, A350, A380. These are all the aircrafts which belongs to Airbus fleet. Even the company has a strong order backlog of 7,200 aircrafts, which is valued at $550 billion. As we have discussed in the previous video, all these aircraft manufacturers are taking initiatives how they can tackle sustainability. Nowadays, it is actively pursuing various new initiatives which include sustainability and how they can manufacture hydrogen-based fuel aircrafts. So now let's talk about Lockheed Martin. Unlike Airbus and Boeing, those have high portion of revenue coming from commercial jetliners. Lockheed Martin's basic revenue comes from military aircrafts. So Lockheed Martin is the world's largest defense contractors with much of its revenue coming from military operations. Talking about Lockheed Martin's product line, it includes F-22 Raptor fighter jets and F-35 Lightning II jets. Talking about its future projects, Lockheed Martin is actively investing in more and more research and development. Specifically, they are focusing on 
hypersonic jets and development of missile systems. Let's move to the next main factor that is Bombardier. Its headquarters are in Montreal, Quebec, Canada and this company specializes in the manufacturing of business jets. And moreover, the subway that you see in the Toronto downtown area, all that was manufactured by Bombardier itself. In 2023, they had a revenue of $7.1 billion. Although that is a loss making company as of now, but still they are also focusing a lot of their research and development team in sustainability. If you haven't seen the tour that I gave of the Bombardier's Global 7500 jet, I highly encourage you to watch that video because that is interesting video in which they were showcasing Global 7500 jet. Other notable mentions are Comic of China and United Aircraft Corporation in Russia. Both manufacture civilian aircrafts and they wish to compete with Airbus and Boeing one day, but they do have the minute market share globally. So this was the information packed video about aircraft manufacturers and what are their product lines and where they stand on the global pedestrian when it comes to manufacturing industry. So if you want to know more about such videos and want to learn more about, I'll highly encourage you to subscribe so that you do not miss my next video.